Hello ladies and gents. Today in Excel for Teachers we're going to look at the, the useful average if function which as the name suggests takes a range of data and performs the average calculation if a particular criteria is met. Now this is excellent for teachers for being able to to take say a data set and produce averages automatically in line for say male and female data. So here's our data set, the similar data set that we used for the, the mean calculations and the if error calculation. And I'm going to want to find the average of that mean, how well on average the boys and the girls, the males and the females perform. So I'm just going to change the data set slightly. I'm going to insert two rows at the top so that here I can produce the average for the male and the average for the female. Just a placeholder for it. So in this column here, in G1, I'm going to issue the command average if, and now the formula is asking for the range. So the average if, now the range are the things that we're going to test. So that goes from B4 all the way down to the bottom, which is B53. So average if B4 to B53, comma. Now the criteria for this is male. So I'm just going to put male. Another comma. And this time I'm going to average the range G4 all the way down to G53. And I'm going to put a bracket in the end. So average if the column that contains the sexes is a male, and the numbers I want to average are in G4 to G53. So before I comment on that, I'll do the same thing for the female data. So I'm going to issue the average if command. We could just copy the formula down, but let's construct it again. Average if the criteria which is contained in the column there, B4 to B53. This time the criteria is female. And this time I can remember that the data is in G4 to G53. So the average for the male data, let's kind of do a little bit of rounding on this to make it make it a bit easier to see. Let's round things down a bit. There we go. The average for the males is 44.1, and the average for the females is 49.6. And the beauty of doing it this way is, as the data changes, or if we add or remove pupils from the list, as long as they're within the, the range that I've specified here, that data is live, and I don't have to keep resorting and recalculating to get the averages for the males and the females. So let's just draw a border around that, because we will be coming back to this later. But there we go. That has been Excel for Teachers, and that was the average if function for dealing with averaging criteria ranges based on data elsewhere in your spreadsheet. Thanks for watching. Please rate and comment below.